Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a heart cataract with mid-dilated people. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 11 o'clock on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision with the keratome itself. And now my aim is to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. I inject an air bubble, fill up the anterior chamber with the air bubble and beneath this air bubble over the anterior capsule I apply 0.06% tripan blue dye. Here it goes. The dye is applied over all parts of the anterior capsule so that uniform staining occurs. And now this is a bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more with the help of this adrenaline. The dye is washed out And now is the time to fill off the anterior chamber with visco, with viscoelastic substance. And the visco I am using is this one, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea also for better visibility. One more side port on the left side of the main incision, about three clock hours away, for introduction of chopper and bimanual irrigation aspiration cannulae. And now, watch capsulorexis with uterata forceps. The uterata forceps goes in, the anterior leaf of the main wound is lifted off and keeping the anterior leaf lifted off a capsular tag is raised and the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size rexus the people has dilated to some extent by adrenaline and we have got an adequate size rexus of about 5.25 millimeter and now, hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done very gently. The nucleus is stabbed and the nucleus is rotated. And now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 from Switzerland. Now here it goes. The tip of the FECO needle goes in with its bevel towards the nuclear mass. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now watch the brownish tinge it indicates that the cataract is not soft. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4 and I'm going to divide this nucleus by my technique which I call submarine chop. The teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and a crack is already already happens in the path of the movement of the FECO needle. Along that crack the nucleus is divided into pieces. Here the other heminucleus is to be divided. Again the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and it is divided in this way. So if you master this technique, this submarine job. It will save a lot of time, a lot of ultrasonic energy and the 
cornea will remain crystal clear next day because you are delivering the ultrasonic energy within the substance of the nucleus and the ultrasonic energy is not near the corneal endothelium. This is the last piece. It is emulsified and the last portion of the last piece. Here, I go to FECO on mode where the vacuum is only 80 millimeter of mercury. From this point, I go to FECO on mode, remove the chopper. Could not remove the chopper because the chopper is entangled to the epinucleus. Yes, now the epinucleus is removed. And now, by the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli, I inject Visco and use the 23G Simco for a removal of a part of the cortical lens matter. If we remove one half of the cortex, then we don't have to change hands with bimanual irrigation aspiration. Yes, here the cortex from left side from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is being removed by the 23G Simco cannula itself. And now This is the time to use bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. There is no cortex on the left side, so the irrigation goes through the right side and aspirating cannula from the left so that all the cortex from the right side can be removed. Always hold the anterior part of the cortex that is the cortex which is just under the anterior capsular rim. Hold that portion of the cortex and pull centrally. But always keep an eye on the movement of the capsular back. Don't give a jerky pull and that may cause genular dehiscence if the cataract is already weak. Now here goes the intraocular lens. This is Galaxy Fold, that is Super Fold from Appa Sami Associates. It's a beautiful lens, very nice lens. I have no financial interest. I just bear sincere gratitude for Appa Sami Associates. This is a company which has helped Indian ophthalmologists grow wherever they are today. And now let us come to the surgery again. The visco is being thoroughly removed from the anterior chamber as well as from the capsular bag. This is a 23G Simco cannula being used first. And after this, I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula. If we use both, then cleaning is much better but if we use only one the cleaning may not be 100 percent here this is only irrigation and now I go through the side ports and use irrigation and aspiration together Yes, this is a very important step because retained visco can cause raised intraocular pressure and next day patient may complain of pain and patient may have blurred vision because of steamy corneal edema. So 
the visco is being thoroughly cleaned out this is almost an unedited video so you are watching each and every step of the surgery and now a bit of moxie into the anterior chamber we can use the moxie as the last step but I usually use at this time and then I hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions. Then I do a final lavage of the anterior chamber with 23G Simco and conclude the case. So in this case we have seen submarine job and use of adrenaline. Adrenaline is preservative free and it can help in some cases to a great extent. It can help us do small people cases without using people expansion devices in many instances. So here we conclude the case after forming the anterior chamber nicely with BSS. The integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.